was in this country. I would like to inform him that only this afternoon, I rose on a point of order to draw the attention of the chair on what was going on outside, and he responded, and the chair of the health committee went and officially received the, the, the memorandum, which is now commendable. And through this information, Mr. Speaker, may I further appeal to the speaker that those doctors standing out there, they are telling us that they recognize us as the only institution, constitutional, that is mandated to represent them as voters. And therefore, the speaker should move further, table that memorandum in this house, because we have been waiting for a way in which the grievances of the doctors could come to the house. Now it has come through the committee, Mr. Speaker. I think the information uh, is made, con con Concluding, it can come, so that we discuss it. Mr. Speaker, we want doctors to go back to the wards, to treat the patients. We are tired of buying coffins and attending funerals for preventable deaths, Mr. Speaker. I speak this as the chief whip of the government, and I know that the President of the Republic of Kenya does not want a single person to die. He wants doctors to be in the hospital. If the problem is the minister, fix it. If the problem is the PS, fix it. If the problem is money, parliament is there, let's vote for it. Doctors must be paid. Patients should stop dying like chicken, Mr. Speaker. I thank you. Senator Halwale concludes. Senator, Senator Lekina, sorry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, let me appreciate the Chief Whip for informing me. I'm fully informed, and I was seated right here when he actually called the attention of the Speaker on the issue of the doctors. To that, I say, Kongole. Mr. Speaker, as I wind up, because my time has really been interfered with, please give me one minute I finish. Because uh, just add me one more minute. Uh, eh? Conclude, Senator. Let me conclude, Mr. Conclude. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to end by saying this. I fully, 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 I fully, fully support this bill. And I hope as I support this bill, my dear sister will actually come to our Committee on Health so that when we are looking at this bill, we can be able to incorporate at the Committee of the Whole a few amendments can be, that can be able to make this bill actually function. Because as it is, there are a lot of uh, things that don't take care of this generation. They are very good, they take care of the future generation, which I support. But we need to really think about our priorities in this country. Health should be our number one priority, Mr. Speaker. The challenges we have today. In fact, they'll even be made worse. Because we seem to have missed 